In this video, I will show you how to put together this notepad holder, which is a free SVG from Simply Crafty SVGs, and it holds a 4 inch by 6 inch notepad. So this is a notepad holder that has a place for a pen. These are the two pieces for the holder, the panels, and then a little kind of a flower decoration. In the file, it's going to be a slightly different color. Um, I matched it up with the color of the panels. Um, the other things I'm going to add, I'm going to add this, which doesn't, it's not included with the file. It's just a, any kind of uh, a thank you panel that I made, a little frame. Then I'm going to use a little blue dot with this button. And I'm going to make it the middle. We're going to put it right in the middle of this. That would be cute. And then these are little uh, Velcro dots that we'll use for the closure. So you could use something else, but it's just an easy thing to use. So this is a post-it um, notepad hole, notepad, I'm sorry, that's about four by six. It's not exactly, but it's a little bit smaller. Here's a different one that I made. So I customized this one. You can see a pen, I have a uniball pen in there, which is my favorite pen. I kind of put that a little bit too high so it bends when you open it, but it, it actually looks okay. You can see I have a Velcro, and then that's just a 4 by 6 notepad that I got at a dollar store um, near me. So we're going to show you how to make that. The difference is uh, we're going to put the flower because we need something to put the fastener if you put a fastener. So that's up to you. So let's give the start. So I'm going to, let's go ahead and put this together really quick. I'm just going to center this. So it's super easy. The other part, we need to fold a little bit. Then I haven't used glue dots. So I have a little glue dot I'm going to put behind this. Sometimes they come in a roll. Just going to place it on there. Should come off. Sometimes they get a little stuck, but if you get them started, come off. And that will be in the front when we're ready. I don't use buttons that often, but I forget how cute they are. <clears throat> so we want to put these panels on first. So let's go ahead and fold these pieces. So this piece, you want to fold like this and this. You want to get a good crisp fold. I am using a craft paper, which is um, actually very strong so I kind of like that but you could use something like uh, 80 at least 80 pound uh, cardstock like I use American craft texture cardstock that work well um, or craft paper just has a good look so that's gonna go like that but first let's go ahead and put the panel on so this is going to center and we want to make sure that the way I have it right now which is sitting off the edge of my um, table. I'm going to go ahead and center this. So that's why pre-folding is helpful because it will help you see where these folds are to center it. So it's really super quick. So that'll be the back. It'll go like this. Let's go ahead before we assemble that. Let's fold this. So you want to fold it like this, like this. So this will be the pen holder right here. So what we want to do is for these two pieces right here, they need to fold the opposite way. So I'm going to pop that out, carefully fold it down like that. Get my bone folder here. I'm just going to get it nice and crisp. So just getting it ready, we're not quite there yet, um, but to give it, get it ready, we're going to do that. Then we can put this on, we'll center this. I don't know what got in my throat. I've cleared it several times, I had to start the video several times, but uh, who knows. So we're going to go ahead and center this. So 
So it doesn't matter what order you do this in, um, but I'm going to do this one first. So what we wanted to do, I'll show you. We're going to fold this over, glue that like that. So it's going to fold like that, and we're going to glue on these two areas right here, just here. So this can pop up for our pen holder. So we can go ahead and carefully add glue. to these pieces. So this whole back panel to attach the front to it. And then the only place you're going to add glue is here. And then the other side. So the way I found works after doing it several times, or works better for me, is to put this edge in the tab fold, line it up on the left and right, like that, and then apply pressure like that. So I'm going to put it down to apply pressure. And I'm going to get a chopstick, or you know what, I was using pencils, you could use a pencil to do it, to go under there and apply pressure to that bottom tab. on the back, or you can use a my one of my favorite tools, a wooden chopstick. And you want to make sure you get that nice and glued on. You don't want to pull it up yet because you don't want to, to lift up at all. So what it'll do is go like this to give you room to put the pen in here. So it'll fold back, you can fold it back like that to get it trained. So now it'll fold up really well. So the only other thing we need to do, and you could have done this first if you wanted to, is glue this on the back. So I didn't put little tabs here, which I normally would. For this, I wanted it to be super easy. So what you're going to do is put glue on this tab right here, fold it over, and line this edge up to the bottom right here and then we'll apply pressure inside. So let's go ahead and do one. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm lining it up. So I don't really care that there's a little gap there. I'm lining this edge up here. And you could use a, an adhesive if you wanted to to do this. It's really meant to be like a gift to gift a notepad and pen. And then the other side we want to do the same thing. First it's just getting it in place. So I'm just lining it up. It was off just a little bit because I'm so right-handed, that's why. Let's get that in place. So in these cases, I just basically get it in place and then reach in and apply additional pressure with uh, like a blunt tool using the table because the table is a great tool in itself. So there it is, make sure it's on really secure. And you can see we're already, we already have the bulk of it done. So this will um, go right in like that. So you can see we're putting the notepad in. If you have the notepad handy, it's going to help you uh, close the shut. Otherwise, there'll be nothing to go underneath it. Or it can stick something in there if you don't have the notepad yet. So now I have the notepad in there just to help me. And I can even put the pen in if I wanted to. So now I want to put a little closure on it. So you could theoretically 
put it inside if you don't want to see it like that. If you want to do a quick closure so that it pull it up. It's not really decorative down there. Um, but I wanted to make it easy if you wanted to just tuck it in. Or you could put, the thing that I did include is that you could put like a little loop. So you can fold a piece of paper around and loop it around to keep it shut. That's another option. But this way I'm going to show you is using these little Velcro dots. So I got these at the dollar store here a while back, actually. I like to take the the part that's kind of uh, hard, has the hard piece on it. There's like a soft side and softer side. I don't know if they're technically called, so that's what I'm going to call them. Um, but first I have to put this on. So I'm a little bit ahead of the game here. So you could do whatever you want. You could just use the circle piece for it, um, or not at all, just like I did the other one. That's up to you. But we only want to glue like halfway on, so like that. So I'm just going to determine what's the top. We'll just put glue on half of it. And be really careful, you can put, push it up to make sure that you don't have the glue coming through on the other side. See right here, I just make sure there's no glue showing. And that I like where it, yeah, I can always push it up a little bit. <laughs> then we're going to put this on. And I'm going to put it on around here. So it's really up to where you want to put it. Then I, I attach the other piece the way it's supposed to go. So this is the soft side I was calling it. Sure. So, so there they are together. So to place this, I'm just going to place it down. Make sure it's centered. Push down to get it in place. And then, then it sticks. Now I'm just going to add whatever additional thing I want to add to it. So you want to add, I'm going to add a thank you because I'm making this a teacher appreciation gift. But it could be for any occasion really. So I'm just going to go, I can go down or up, whatever I visually think is good. I really haven't thought it out obviously as you can tell. So I'm going to kind of come towards the flower. <clears throat> Sometimes when I plan things out, um, it doesn't go as a content anyway, so just sometimes it's I, pl I plan as much as I can, and then from there, it's not. So basically, you're going to add your own embellishment. You could put some twine, ribbon, wrap it around here, that kind of thing. Um, but that's it. It's a little notepad holder, quick to make, and it's a nice, quick gift for any occasion. And here's the other one just as a reminder. And if you do like this project, I ask if you could give me a like below and or subscribe to our channel. And that's it. I hope you like it and thank you for watching.